International Equal Pay Day represents the long-standing efforts towards the achievement of equal pay for work of equal value. It further built on the United Nations' commitment to human rights and against all forms of discrimination, including discrimination against women and girls. Victoria Agbi has more in this report. Across all regions, women are paid less than men, with a gender pay gap estimated at 23% globally. Progress on narrowing this gap has been slow, and while equal pay between men and women has been widely endorsed, Applying it in practice has been difficult, hence the International Equal Pay Day. Building on the United Nations' commitment to human rights and against all forms of discrimination, including discrimination against women and girls. They are facing different things. You face your children, you face your husband, you won't because you are working jeopardize your interest in the house. And that of work will not jeopardize your home. So we can compare the level and the length in which a man can walk to the one of a female, you know. And let me tell you, he, 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 uh, they brought one of the rib of a man made the woman. So that's why they have less strength, because we cannot perform like a man. He, even in our place of work, when we are still at work till 4 o'clock, the female, the woman there, they are already home to do their domestic works. Women constitute a significant part of the global workforce, delivering the same value as their male counterparts. And by default, the reward of every work is a substantial wage on payday. Sadly, occupational discrimination, gender bias, among other factors, have denied the female gender the financial gratification that complements the value they deliver at work. In the local government service, have risen to the topmost cadre. That is the being an assistant or uh, an administrative secretary. The reason to that position, a particular one has retired. So there's really no rank, there's no post, a position that women cannot attain. Although the Nigerian government in its constitution provides for equal pay for work without discrimination on the basis of sex, however, there is no enacting law to make this effective. There are even fewer litigations thus limiting jurisprudence on the matter. The Gender and Equal Opportunities Bill that may have touched on the issue was voted down by the Nigerian Senate in 2016. From the Federal Government Account Committee, that is FAC, after that one, the money will come to Ondo State. They will do what they call Joint Allocation Account Committee. That is Jack. After they pay a individual in their different bank accounts through the remitter. And everybody are into the same grade level. It doesn't matter you are a male or female. They do whatever they can do. They should forget about this year of maybe um, because I'm a woman, I can't do this, I can't do that. Women can do anything. In fact, people have said, though I've not seen the statistics, but they've said that women are intelligent. They are more intelligent than men. And to me, I think it's really, it really is like that. Because in this local government, for example, if you see the people that are, that are up and doing, they've given awards here. And you see women taking most of the awards for their jobs. So I want to tell everybody, women should rise up. The ball is in their court. Anybody that wants to get to the uppermost level in their career, so just do it. They should forget about the issue of maybe I'm a man or a, I'm a woman. Women can actually do anything that men can do. It is therefore safe to say that in order to reach the goal of equal pay for work of equal value for all and to get the satisfied results, there is need to address structural inequalities by mainstreaming gender considerations in economic and social policy measures. Victoria Agbe, reporting for Captain TV News.